My name is Scott Hasty. I'm the head of music at Spark, which means that I handle all of the tracks that are played on the station and I look after us getting new music in, um, scheduling it on the station, and also working with uh, record labels, setting up interviews, reviews, and festival coverage as well. We've got essentially three main main parts to our playlist, which is our A, B, and C, like most radio stations. When we get a track. Let's just stick with Rihanna. If we get a new Rihanna track in, if it comes out in eight weeks, then we are likely to stick it into our C list, um, which means it'll get a couple of plays a day. Then it'll progress up to a B list, but it'll get more. And eventually, at its peak, when it's just about to come out, it will be in our A list and it'll be getting three to four, five plays a day. If we take something like Uptown Funk, which was obviously a massive hit around the world, um, we kept that. Uh, for at least a month and a half after it came out because it was still showing a lot of popularity. People were still finding it, people were still loving it. Whereas some songs, when they come out, they just fade off the face of the planet. So it is normally, when a song is released to the public, that's when we start to think about when it will be on its way out. I do a lot of work personally on looking at statistics around tracks. So if we get a new track through from an artist like Rihanna, then I'm going to look at that, I'm going to think, right, how many people are listening to it on YouTube, how many people are playing it as well as us, so our Radio 1 or Capital, those kind of stations playing it. Then you look at the kind of act and how big they are, how Spark could support them, if they're local, what kind of impact can a song have if, if we choose to play it or not, basically. But if you listen to Spark, you're going to find something new that you're going to love, it's going to be huge. We, we will bring you the next big hits.